From the 2013 International CES in Las Vegas, this is another Into Tomorrow ITTV special report. How about free TV for your smart TV? Our next guest can do that for you. He's co-founder and chairman of FreeDO, Bob Wilson. Bob, welcome into tomorrow. Well, thanks for having us, Dave. It's a pleasure, especially when we talk about a lot of folks are getting the new smart TVs, and in some cases not so new, but for a lot of consumers, it's new. It's a whole different concept. That's right. Smart TVs being Internet-connected televisions, and then saying, oh, yeah, but everybody wants money. You know, they, they all want me to, to buy stuff in order for me to use the smart end of things. <coughs> Not so smart all the time. Mm -hmm. You've solved that problem. Well, you still have to buy the TV. Oh, good. <laughs> okay, good point. You don't, you, don't, you don't give everybody a TV. We'd love to, but we can't quite, quite fit that in the budget. Yes. But yeah, we, what we're doing is we're giving you uh, more reason to use your smart TV or to buy a smart TV or other uh, connected device like a Blu-ray player. Uh, it turns out that uh, uh, we're getting close to about 100 million devices now in this country. Uh, that uh, are in home. So, you know, we've got about 100 million uh, TV households. So, uh, 100 million yeah. connected TVs That's already. right. Yeah, it's pretty. Go TVs figure. and Blu-ray players. Yep. Yeah, yep. Uh, that's true because a lot of folks have a connected TV now because right. they have a Blu-ray player. And, by the way, Dave, don't forget the Xbox because the Xbox is a connected Ooh. device as well. Yes. So there's, it's a, there's a lot more out there than people realize. Yeah, so it doesn't have to be that new TV that says it's a smart TV. You already have a smart TV if you've got one of these connected devices to that's it. That's right. Very cool. So then you guys at uh, Freedio uh, are now making shows available for us for free. And, and how does this all work? And give us an idea of what kinds of shows. Yeah, we, we uh, did some research and we realized that uh, there were about 125 million unique viewers uh, on websites every month watching premium content. Not YouTube. Not that we have anything against that. Yeah, sure. There's a lot of content about, there. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, PBS, Discovery, uh, HGTV, a lot of great content shows that are running on their cable or satellite networks already that mm -hmm. those content providers will make available a few days after or a few, a few weeks after the programs run live. And lots of people watching it on PCs. We said, hey, why can't they watch it on their connected devices? Well, there's a whole bunch of complicated technical reasons, uh, and uh, we've just basically solved them. And we've made the smart TV look like a PC uh, to all those content streams. And you've done that by creating and providing a free app. That's right. So There's that no we can cost. Do all this. No, no additional cost to the user. Uh, the app, we have to work with the uh, device manufacturers, and we've done that with LG, and we're working with Samsung, and we expect to work with many others. And uh, this is great for the manufacturers because it gives a lot more added value to their TV. Yeah, that's what they're telling us. They, they've got a lot of apps, uh, but not a lot of television apps. Uh, there's things like Netflix and Hulu, which are great. Uh, we're adding some additional deeper content uh, uh, choices to the uh, for the users, so they love it. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, connect to and watch your favorite TV shows from channels, websites, over 40,000 episodes and clips. I mean, there's there's yep. a pretty good chance there's going to be something that you like yeah. on, on what's available th via your free app. Yeah, already we're just launching here at uh, CES. We've got uh, over 4,000 hours of content. Wow. That compares to Netflix at about 20,000. They've been around longer. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll find you something if you can't find it anywhere else. Yeah, and this app now, well, among other things, let me build a queue of programs that I've been wanting to see. So it's downloading and getting them ready for me to watch at my leisure. Yeah, no downloading, actually. It just well, if you true. find something <laughs> you want to watch, uh, you put it in the queue, and when you're ready, it'll play for you. So uh, you yeah. can do that. You can select favorites, or you can use your tablet to go out and search uh, uh, on the uh, uh, on the site to see if there's something else you might want to watch now or, or later. It's so pretty cool. And I don't have to buy anything because it's a free app. That's right. <laughs> From the consumer point of view, it's all free. We make our money on the ads that are playing uh, either on the TV or on the uh, on the tablet. Gotcha. And you mentioned available now? Uh, it'll be available this month uh, in LG devices, Samsung sometime later this quarter. Okay. Uh, watch our website, uh, www.freedio, F-R-E-D-I-O.com, and uh, we'll keep you updated on uh, other devices. Excellent. Kind of looks like Fredio. It's an easy way to remember, you know, but it's free, long E. Free is the key <laughs> word, but if you prefer yeah. Fred, just so you watch. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's all so that matters. F-R-E-D-I-O. Dot com will get you there. Bob, thanks for spending a couple well, of minutes with us. Thanks for having us. Very cool. I mean, we love talking about these kind of innovative things that are helping a whole lot of us consumers, especially free apps that allow us to watch free shows save us some money. That's right. Love it.
And we hope that you have enjoyed these three hours of Into Tomorrow's broadcast from CES this week as we launch our 18th year. Have no fear, the next two weeks we've got more from CES all week long and lots of cool stuff. You've got to swing by the site at your leisure. Do it soon, though, so you can see some of the cool video snacks we've got for you coverage of various press conferences, our highlight video, video of interviews, lots of stuff, all for you, along with all three hours of the radio broadcast at intotomorrow.com.